we finally have a shower in the container. This is lovely. It's only been 18 months. We've been living in the containers for over a year now. And Sarah's finally given me a red card for the fact that we don't have a shower. So now I've got to get on with it. I've already installed the hot water system to provide my hot feed. I need to make an insulated frame down the walls of the container. So I started by snipping up some pine. To attach the frame I drilled a couple of holes in the wall and I riveted in a right angle bracket. All I have to do is screw the frame to the bracket. This is the start of the framing. I'll have to extend the pipework going out to the left because I need it to run to a basin or potentially a bath. I purchased a shower breech. I picked some taps and a shower head. I cut 30 centimetre tails and I cleaned them up with a block of sandpaper. I dipped it in flux and then inserted it into the brass fittings. I heated up the brass and copper joint and when I thought it was hot enough I just fed in some solder and if it flows then the joint's good. Here's the joint finished and when I tested it, it was watertight. I've plumbed in the shower breach to the hot and cold lines. I've also extended the hot and cold lines to the left. I left it pressurised overnight and it's watertight. My breech plumbing is slightly overcomplicated, but I was using materials I had to hand rather than buy new and then I put some lagging onto the pipes. I got a sheet of villa board and I cut the holes where I thought the taps and the shower head would go. Sarah bought a roll of silver sarking from the recycling centre. Containers can sweat so I've lined the framing with sarking. Frames ready for insulation now. I stuffed the frame with polyester 3.5R insulation bats. And then I screwed the villa board to the insulated frame. I bought a decent sized shower tray. And then I marked where the outlet goes. I cut the hole using a drill and a jigsaw. Unfortunately it's a direct hit on the cross member and it took me a fair amount of time to chop the beam out. Here it is cleaned up with the angle grinder and this is what it looks like underneath. I removed the villa board and I chopped back a recess to fit the shower tray. We changed our minds about the shower surface so I resheated using thicker plywood which will allow me to glue on the laminate. I bought a glass shower screen. The glass shower panel needs some support. So I put in a beam going the width of the container and then a 90 by 90 wooden beam going down to the floor. I cut the laminate with the diamond tip tile blade fitted to the baby angle grinder. 
This was the laminate after I'd cut the holes for the shower. I put polyester insulation bats into the back wall of the shower and then I finished with a layer of brace board over the top. All the details for this project, including prices, can be found at buildshippingcontainerhouse.com. I installed the two shower laminate panels. I installed the brackets for the glass panel on the shower laminates and the upright and it was a two-man job to install the glass panel. I've installed trim and the shower curtain and now it's all ready to use. The gas hot water system's working perfectly. Thanks for watching. For information on the ebook, go to buildshippingcontainerhouse.com. To follow our progress, subscribe on YouTube or you can follow us on containerhouse.wordpress.com.